dun dun dun! What a way to start this video when I realized I actually s I was still recording from the previous section. Whoops. My family. All right, so I've already done Noor. Fire Emblem Conquest has been conquered, as I do like to say so myself. And uh, it was definitely a lot of fun. We got to see some uh, really bright, cheerful characters for such a dark side of a country, which was originally dark, but in the end, they were only really, really doing it for, you know, their 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 city. Like they need, they just want power. Like oh, I don't really think they want power. It's just that they believed. What did they believe? I don't know why they went to war. Eh, in any case, anyway, we're gonna go and fight with oh we're gonna defend Hoshi. we're not gonna fight with Norway. we just did that one and we're not gonna do revelations till next time when i do lunatic mode so again shout outs to potato who actually decided um who actually made me decide to do it this way and i'm actually glad that i did hard mode on this because i felt like if i did normal mode on uh birthright it might have been a little bit too uh repetitive and maybe not as interesting um but yeah here we go Anyway, this path and birthright includes opportunities to freely accumulate experience points and gold. This will allow you to enjoy watching your characters grow faster. Is this the path you choose? Yes, it is. In the white light. So again, it's interesting. So now the chapters actually have like little like white petals on it. So here we go. Xander, withdraw your troops. What? Vault, don't tell me you're siding with Hoshido. Yeah. I'm afraid so. I've made up my mind. I stand with Hoshido. I fear this Hoshidans might try to brainwash you. I am well aware of your Hoshidan lineage. It is true that we lack common blood. But still, we've treated you as kin since the very day you arrived in Nor. No matter what anyone says, you are my brother, Vault. I know that Camilla, Leo, and Elise feel the same way. And Father will forgive you, I know it. You are of Nor. Return to us, Vault. I'm so sorry. I can't go back. King Garen is a coward and a liar. I've witnessed enough of his destruction, causing an explosion in a crowded city center with no regard of, for innocent life. There's the action of a madman. Oh, that's the action. Mother. Vault, my dear. Hey. Tell me, if King Garen thinks of me as family, how could he have orchestrated this attack? I could have easily been killed along with Queen Makoto. The truth is that I was just a pawn. Collateral damage. King Garen was willing to sacrifice my life in pursuit of his agenda. Face it, Xander. Garen is no longer human. He's pure evil. Oh, good. Father? Evil? How could you say that, little prince? Big brother! Xander, please, join me. Join me and help me put an end to this cruelty. Vault. Yes. Idiot. Traitor. That's my answer, traitor. <gasps> traitor? Brother, wait. Silence! Enough. I've never thought you would turn your back on your own kingdom and your family. Your betrayal will never be forgiven. You want to sign with Hoshido? Fine. Over my dead body! Xander! No! Oh, this is a killing move! Oof. <laughs> Game over. We lose. GG. That's birthright, ladies and gentlemen. You have been deceived, brother. They've clearly brainwashed you. I will not rest until I've returned to your you, you to your senses. Get up. Get up and turn to Nor with me. Surely there's some part of you that still remembers your true family. Brother, my mind is made up. If that's the case, I will end this quickly. Wait! Oh! Boom! Oh! Epic fighting! <laughs> Okay, thank you, Ryoma. I'm sorry I did stuff to you back in uh, Conquest. Just try it, Norian scum. Ryoma, please, we can settle this peacefully. What's, What's wrong, Vault? Lost your focus? Tossing your sword aside and dying as a Mara won't do us any good. Feed. If you seek to take my brother from me, I won't go easy on you. Show no mercy. Oh, why don't you spare me the chit chat? Shut up and attack if you dare. Fascinating. A splendid idea. I've yearned to introduce you to a friend of mine, the Dark Blade Siegfried. Camilla, Leo, Elise, are you ready? Shall we kill them? Darling, I was born ready. Let's kill them all quickly so we can make it home in time for Vault's nap. You can't hide from You're me! You're coming with us. That's all there is to it. Understood, Vault? I'll do my best. We're going, We're going to take Vault back home! Woohoo! Please. Vault has made his choice. 
All that remains is to spill your blood and wipe my divine sword clean. Hinoka, Takumi, Sakura, steal yourselves. I'll be a shield vault. They won't kidnap you again. Stupid Norian jerks. I'll kill all of you. I'm ready. I won't let them hurt you, Vault. Let's go. Very well. All forces, attack! Come on. Warriors of Hoshino, prepare for battle. All right. So this is what I found interesting back when I first did it. I made it, Lord Vault. Is everything okay? Felicia? No, we're far from okay. But there's no time to explain right now. Your timing is terrible. What are you doing here now? What? How can you say that? I've been looking for you this whole time. Anyway, I'm here now, and I'll stand by your side. Oh, thanks, Felicia. Well, I guess, see, the great thing about this is, like, it's not that kind of blind that Felicia or Jacob would not be with the allied champion, uh, <laughs> allied champion, uh, your uh, main character avatar, depending on which side you choose. You'd think that, <clears throat> you'd think that since they're Norian maids, uh, they would side with Nor. But if you know Felicia's backstory, how she was technically kidnapped, uh, per se, in order for this to work, then that's why she's with us. Um, and also, you gotta. Uh, we also gotta point out the fact that holy crap, you're right in my face. Uh oh. Okay, can I? Huh. Oh, Jesus, is that even worth it? I don't even know. Oh no, no, it's worth. Cause it, okay, this is what's gonna happen. Um, I'm going to use. Ryoma, if he gets hit, he has vantage, so it's not the end of the world. Alright, have at thee. What foolishness. I will not tolerate traitors in our mist. Alright, Ryoma, you're doing great. Thank you. Now, I don't really want to fight this, especially Leo. He's going to be a pain in the ass. He's already he's already a dark knight, and we don't have any units who Oh okay, I take it back. Takumi can actually destroy Leo. Hmm. Interesting. I do like that idea. So much so that I failed to make it work. Whoops. So I'm gonna give you a song. This is gonna be interesting. Now, I, if I fail, I fail. And then I could just restart from another point. Um, but we'll see. So here we go. If you attack, I will offer no mercy. I hope you're all prepared to die. I know Takumi probably shouldn't be used here, but... You're stronger than I expected. But there you go. That gives Kaze another level up. Because, you know, he needs the level ups. It's not like he's gotten all of them today. Alright. Oh, Jesus. Uh, oof. 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 Oof, indeed. Um. Okay, I'm glad you're back there. Now, the problem is you. If you get a bit too close to, the, to me, <clears throat> then we're going to have some issues. Sorry that I've been coughing. I've, it's really dusty, I think. I think the dust is going to kill me. <coughs> Bonk. Oh god, thank you. Thank you, Dragonstone. Please hit him. Nicely done, Azura. Oh, not Azura. What's your name, Felicia? Now, Vault's at level 8. Nice. Dum, da, dum, dum, da, dum. All right, there we go. We're gonna do that, and probably end my turn like this. I'm coming with you. Ow! Now I'm pretty sure Xander doesn't come down. All right, good. And besides, if I win this fight, I win this fight. <coughs> So the main, yeah, if you didn't see at the bottom, the main objective there was to defeat Xander, and then that's it. How is this possible? We must retreat. This is an overvolt. There we go. Problem solved. Is this really our future? A lifetime of conflict with Nor? Hey. Well, 
I can understand why you are reluctant to fight. It would make you feel if it would make you feel better, you can leave the fighting to me and Ryoma. No, burying my head in the sand won't change in the reality of the situation. I will stand with you. And the rest of Hoshido. Very well. Yes, I did it right. I know this is the right choice. Even if it's the hardest one I've ever had to make. I have to believe this is the path that will eventually lead to peace. Woo! Alright, and then... Opening! Which, hey, I'll show this off because, you know what, this is the Hoshiden version of the opening. Essentially, the only difference is between these two really beautiful openings um, is that there's the position of where the Norian family and the Hoshin family come in. So all of this is still the same. You know, you have the Stoneborn there, destroying a bunch of soldiers. And then you have this epic fight between probably a paladin and a swordmaster. Again, sorry, my, my throat's dying. <coughs> it's freaking dust, man. So yeah, so in the conquest, this is where the Norian royal would be, and that would be King Garen. I think that'd be Elise. Leo, yeah, I don't know, I don't know how it goes, but yeah. So now we have the Hoshiden family taking the center stage, and through the bloodshed of this war between uh, countries, and we have obviously the Norians. This is where they are, and this is where Hoshido used to be. Hello. Oh. Lilith, great timing. Also, potato, Lilith is awesome. I have no idea what you're on about. Eh? Lol. Huh? Wait, that's not our Lilith, is it? Yes. Actually, it is. What? Oh, so, um, when did Lilith become, um, an adorable creature thing? Well... It's kind of a long story. I'll explain later. Come on, I want to show you something before we catch up with the others. <laughs> what is this light? Um, I'll explain that too. It's alright, Felicia, you don't have to worry about it too much. You see? What just happened? And, um, where are we? I'm sorry for frightening you, Felicia. Please allow me to explain. This is my home! Mm. Oh, I see. My word, you two have been quite busy, bees. Lord Vault, I know the choice you just made was a difficult one. Well, not really, I kind of planned it ahead, you know, just have, I have my life planned out as I always do. From here on out, you and your allies will continue down your chosen path. I promise to do everything in my power to help you on your journey. As such, please feel free to use this astral plane to rest or prepare for battle. Thank you. Thank you, Lilith. Your kindness and support are very much appreciated. Ah, oh, you're so very welcome. Oh, by the way, this place is filled with dragon veins. Long story short, you can use them to customize your castle as you see fit. Let's try it out now. I'll help. Yeah, sure, I'll put this bit in. And then we can, uh, I'll show the start of the next chapter, and then do that, and then we'll be done. Wow, it is dark out. In the astral plane, you can use dragon vein power to create new buildings. Let me show you how. So we're going to go to the building section, we're going to build, and we're going to use, what are we going to get, the dawn armory or the rod drop? I think for now I'm going to get the rod drop first. Um, so we're going to put this thing... Uh, Alright, so this is this is the map we've got going on here. So let's have a look at this. So this is the map. Hmm. Very interesting indeed. Very interesting. There's a forgery there. I think here's a nice spot. Well done. After you place a building, you can visit that location. You can build your castle bit by bit the further you get into your adventures. Eventually, it will truly reflect you, your, uh, you and your personality. A fort vault. With that, I'll take my leave. Well then. 
I'll be glad to help with the building another request, Lord Vault. Yep, sure. So. Oh, you never know. Alright, so I can't really build that. I'll probably... I'll probably... Well... I did realise another thing. Uh, when I do castle battles in Birthright, I actually gain experience. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I mean, I'm not going to minimise it, like, massively. But what I want to do is I want to kind of... Um, how do I say this? I want to kind of just make sure I have all the building. If that makes sense. So I'll get buildings, get resources. That's essentially my that, this form of grinding. And I also want to just get points added. So first thing first, we're going to add some <coughs> peaches. God oh, damn it, I'm probably going to get a drink of water uh, while I grind for new stuff. <laughs> Great. All right, a little less than hungry. That's fine. Oh, okay, so uh, I'm going to be right back and I'm going to do these supports. That's what I'm going to be doing for the rest of you. But just let me get a drink of water because my throat is in so much pain. Alright, sorry about that. Now we can go to the support section. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. So for the first support of the night, we have Vault and Felicia. Woo, so we have the male character with the female one. Sweet. Sniffle. Why does, why does things sort of... Uh, why does this sort of thing always happen to me? I've ruined another meal. I thought I followed the recipe perfectly this time. Hey Felicia, what's the matter? Oh no, did you start another fire? That's the third time this month. Lord Vault, no, not this time. This time I just ruined another meal. <laughs> Sorry Felicia, uh, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Please cheer up, you're plenty helpful to everyone, I promise. Sorry, but I don't believe that at all. Well, what about that last battle? When you got the enemy's attention by screaming? And then you not only came to, um, uh, I got them to come after you, but you took them all out too. I've never seen such a bold strategy and such bravery. Uh, Felicia, what's wrong? Why are you curling on top of the floor? <laughs> oh, cute. You don't understand. You really don't understand, do you? That wasn't a strategy, Vault. Hey, excuse me. That's Lord Vault to you. I was trying to run away from them, and then I got surrounded. I had to fight on my way out or die. I wasn't being brave. I was terrified. Oh, really? Could have fooled me. I don't want to be a good warrior anyway. I have, we have plenty of soldiers already. I want to be a good maid. I want to be able to mend clothes and make food and wash dishes and the like. Have you seen camp lately? We need that more than we need extra muscle. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, you have Rinka who just does whatever the hell she wants with fire. You have Kaze who just kind of wanders around aimlessly and doing his own thing. Um, you have Sakura who's just kind of crying everywhere. Yeah, not really a great team, huh? I get, you, I get you, I get your point. I suppose you don't have to join us on the battlefield. But then I'd be completely worthless. No, don't say that. You gotta... You can help with... Oh, look! A faceless! I have to go! I'm going back to my corner. Oh, <laughs> Oh, Felicia. You know, you know you're, you're much special than that. Oh, and Azura just sings by herself. Rika, do you have a moment? Sure, what do you need? Well, you see, earlier today I helped a nice young woman carry her things home. In return, she gave me the sack of sweets. That entire bag is filled with just sweets? It must weigh 50 pounds! Yes, which is why I'm hoping you could help. I can't all eat all these by myself. Oh, I see. I'll pass. Really? But I thought you'd appreciate it the most. What do you mean by that? Your stomach's been growling all day. Did you think I hadn't noticed? So what? That doesn't mean I'm hungry. <laughs> that wasn't what you think. It must have been a mouse that ran by. Hmm. Perhaps I'll just leave some of these sweets here for that poor little mouse. Fine. Do what you want. I will. I hope the mouse enjoys its treat very much. I hear it is has quite the sweet tooth. I did. I. I when I first read this conversation, I would never have expected Rinka to be a sweetie. Oh, like, a, like a sweet tooth, not a sweetie, sorry. R wrong, wrong use of words there. The mouse would have, would, the mouse would have you know that it doesn't have uh, any stinking sweet teeth. And the mouse wants to make it clear that this is a one-time occurrence. Does the ninja understand? Of course. Well, I should be off now. I'll talk to you later, Rinka. <laughs> nom 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 nom. <laughs> Alright, well, at least she's happy. Alright, so right now I'm gonna just 
farm so that I can get the uh, Dawn Armory and then uh, before I finish the video uh, I'll show off the armory and then boom we can just start to see the see a bit of the next chapter and then I'll do the next video then so see you guys then. Okay I am back after that one battle that I did just now so basically that one battle it allowed me to get some more supports with everybody um, which is nice to have as well as I get more resources as you can see on the bottom left, I did get uh, this extra set of resources there, so these two are going to team up, or not, <laughs> I guess. But again, the whole purpose of that uh, whole fight or deal or whatever was just so I can get the Dawn Armory. And then we can show this off um, in a bit. I think, yeah, we'll show it off. So in the Rod Shop, okay, I can't, I guess I can't really do anything now. But in the Rod Shop, what can we do? We're going to buy some... Uh, Staves. So here we have all the uh, ranged staves. Um, I'm gonna rescue staff. It's not bad, but it's a lot of money. So you have your typical uh, bloom festive, uh, bloom festival and sun festival uh, items. Probably, probably uh, restores less HP than the uh, normal heals do, but they can heal from a range, which is that's actually pretty darn good. And then we can also buy some tonics or. Uh, elixirs or whatever, and we also get some seals if we wanted to get them, but I'm not going to buy them seals yet because we don't need to. So, thank you, Azura. And on the Dawn Armory, we get to see a generic unit or generic villager, whatever. And we can buy, um, so we can buy a katana, which uh, the katana uh, hovering over the iron weapons essentially gives you the basic of the katana. So, brass katanas um, give 10 dodge, but they can't inflict crits. So it's your really basic weapon. Uh, iron, iron katanas, uh, they grant one speed. So essentially, this happens to all katanas. Uh, all katanas give one speed, but they lose defense and resistance by one. So they're essentially just made to just attack quickly. Um, with that avoid as well. Uh, secondly, we have the Naginatas. Uh, Naginatas are like lances, except these lances grant defense and resistance. Um, but they don't really get a debuff, so... It's nice to have, which is, it's really good. Um, and finally we have the clubs. Now, club weapons have a greater chance to inflict critical hits. So, that's a, that's the thing with club weapons. So they're, they're more of the, so apparently they get crits. Which is, we, you get a base of five, which isn't a lot per se, but for early on in the game, small percentages do matter, so I'll give them that. And shuriken weapons, they grant two speed, and they also lower uh, enemies um, uh, enemy hits. Uh, I don't know how much I don't know how much stats they lose per se when it comes to the Iron Shuriken, but whatever. And we also buy Yumi, which are the bows for the uh, Hoshin route. So hang, on, what do we have here? So we have swords, lances, axes, uh, knives for knives for uh, uh, Shuriken, bows for Yumi. So Yumi gives two resistance to all units, and uh, we have cards, or rather spirits, and these spirits all have different skill effects uh, depending on, you know, what spirit you use. And from my understanding, it looks like they seem to be uh, zodiac animal spirits, so there you go, that is the armory, which is a nice thing to have. Um, let me just fill up Lilith again with some rice, yeah, we'll give you rice, have some rice ball. A rice ball. R rice ball. There we go. Lilith being all nice and healthy. Getting a pretty perfect level up, except for the magic I gave her before. So there you go, Lilith. Not even going to use you, really. <laughs> I guess, okay, that's the only useless thing she's ever there. She's like, she don't really, you don't really need her. Anyway, we're going to invite an ally. And we're actually going to see these, because we actually don't get to see a lot of them. And we didn't really get to see a lot of them, so let's go with... Well, we've seen cars, like, we've never seen Rinka, so let's invite Rinka today. I've been, I've been talking with a lot of... Uh, <laughs> I've been... Being a male, I've talked with a lot of females. We're gonna have Rinkaze to be my bro in this whole army, but whatever. You're not gonna lecture me on my temper again, are you? Well... It's debatable. Oh! You're so friendly. Glad I met someone like you. Thanks! For a gal like you, you were actually kind of cute, but the problem is you are very, 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 very angry. 
so I don't know. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'll be honest, when I first saw Rinka, I thought she was like, oh, she looks like someone, like, she'd probably be my favourite female character in terms of who I'd choose, but, uh, no, nah, in the end, oh, in Conquest, it was definitely Perry. <laughs> um, and this one, we'll see. We'll, we'll see. We're gonna see a lot of characters, but we'll never know. Um, oh yeah, so conversations, and then we'll go straight into the first chapter, so I might go a little bit over time in this video, but it's alright. Rinka, over here. Did you need something done? Sort of. I'd like to ask your opinion on something. Take a look at this map. If we're positioned here and the enemy attacks from here, what should we do? Hmm. If a unit detached and came at them from the river, do you think they'd cluster? If so, we could hit them from the vo with a volley, but if we fail, the attacking force might rout. Mm. Rinka, are you listening to me? You know as well as I that I am not a tactician. Why are you here? Hoping to make friends? I'm sorry to disappoint you. I'm just here to carry out orders. Nothing more. Farewell. Hey, hey wait, I'm not done talking yet. I have nothing to discuss with you. Leave me alone. You know I can't do that. We're allies. I have to be able to communicate with you. That's not what I meant. I will still listen and follow any orders you would get, uh, want to give, but otherwise do not speak to me. What is wrong with you? <sighs> My apologies, perhaps I went too far. That is no way to talk to one superior. I am grateful you spared my life when I was your prisoner, and I will follow you wherever you decide to lead us. However, I neither need or desire your attention. Please leave me alone. Hmm. Huh. We ain't a little hard to get, are we? Ah, Kaze! <sighs> Something wrong, Kaze? And, um, what are with all these radishes? Ah, Lord Vault, greetings. A young lady gave me these radishes as a thanks for helping me find our way. Looks like we're having radish feast tonight. That's pretty great, right? I must disagree. It is not great. No? What's the matter? Do you have something against radishes? I've... It feels wrong being rewarded for such simple kindness as giving directions. This is not the first time something like this has happened either. It's not? I can't figure out why, but... I am I find I'm often approached by women who wish to speak with me or give me things. Oh. Is that so? It gets worse. If I speak even a few words, they'll often start shrieking or hugging me. Sometimes they'll give me letters or garments or clothing or, like today, food. None of our allies act that way, of course. Just strangers. It's frustrating. Sounds like, to me, like you're just popular with the ladies. Popular? With the ladies? Exactly. Those women are just, well, they're curious about you. It's because you're kind yet mysterious. Being a ninja doesn't hurt either. In fact, when I was in town the other day, I overheard one of the local women. They said, the sorrowful looking Kaze's gorgeous face is way too dreamy. Ugh, I wish you hadn't told me that. I appreciate the praise, but I'd prefer to focus on my duties and keep such silly distractions to a minimum. You're so serious all the time. Most men dream of this kind of attention. Seriously, you have no idea. I'm simply behaving as any self-respecting ninja should. That's all there is to it. In any case, they are mistaken. I'm not a good man. Why would you say that? It's nothing. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have an urgent matter to attend to. Gone like that? Ninja are so cool. I wonder what he meant by that. Why do they think he's not a good man? Ooh. I've, I've, I've got a pretty good idea what it is. Um, it happened in Conquest in one of Kaze's supports during the playthrough, so I probably have a good feeling on what it is. Hello, Kaze. Lady, are you talking to me? To what? I owe this honor. Goodness, you make it sound like I've never spoken to you before. Well, every time I've talked, I've been the one who initiated the conversation. Oh. Right. Uh, see, so this is a thing. Um, I think I'll leave these in. Uh, when I get to Revelations, I should be done with support, so that I probably don't have to do this talking with the units, but... I don't know, because I've already done the conversation like this, so if you want to skip it, you can skip it, but I'll just voice over it again, because why the hell not? Is that so? Yes. In fact, all of our conversations have been limited to me delivering messages, but I never took it personally. I know you prefer to avoid people if you can help it. You know how to put it quite plainly, don't you? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be blunt, milady. How rude of me. That's alright. You spoke the truth. I need to ask you a favour. Consider it done. I will grant anything milady requests. But I haven't even told you what it is. It is my duty to obey without hesitation. 
Please, tell me how I may be of use. Service. Why don't you follow me? I'll explain on the way. Alright, so we are at about the 30 minute mark. So before we do anything, we're going to save our game and we're going to head straight into the next chapter. So we're going to have a see what it's like, and then I'm going to cut off, do the chapter, successful chapter, sorry, and then boom. The Dragon Gate is now open, we can go to the Dragon's Gate if we want, but we're not going to. Oh, this is new! So we can change the difficulty, which is normal. Uh, we can challenge... Valley Settlement, we can challenge or we can scout. Spend gold to search for foes, you can gain experience and items in these battles. Ah! But I have to spend gold to do it? Uh, nah. Alright, well, I guess I'll do these... Hmm. I don't know when to do them. I'm kind of lost to when... Because, like, apparently I get a lot of money. So I'm hoping I get some money, but we'll see. We'll see. Alright, so we'll go to Chapter 7. I think I'll start doing, like, challenges if I'm going to just grind up a few of my units, but... Again, you never know. Okay. Hosh uh, Kingdom of Hoshido. Fort... Virginia. Oh, I've been here. I remember this place very well. This way, Vault. What is this place? Listen. This is Fort Virginia. Sakura is already here, tending to wounded soldiers and citizens. Let's go and help her. Understood. By all means. Do -do 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 -do. Aha! Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, this is a very depressing place, don't you think? Thank you, brother. Thank you. Oh, Vault. Thank you for coming. Sakura. <laughs> Sakura! Is everything okay, Sakura? I'm here to help. Thank you so very much. Yes, but thank goodness you're here. We're very short-staffed. Uh, hold up a second while I do something quickly. There, now I've balanced the freaking the view. Uh, but we're short-staffed, okay. yes. Ah, oh, hello, Hana! Hello! Hello, Lord Vault. I'm Hana. Lady Sakura has told me all about you. <laughs> and I'm Subaki. It's a pleasure to meet you, Lord Vault. Understood. Nice to meet you both. I'm afraid you probably know a lot... Uh, wait. I'm afraid you probably know a lot more about me than I know about either of yes. you. That's okay, Vault. I'm sure you'll be fast friends in no time. Hana and Su uh, Subaki are my retainers. Always close at hand and ready to help. I see. I see. Yes, indeed. Well, we should have plenty of time to relax and get to know... <gasps> Vault, we've got trouble. Azura? Seriously? We've been here five minutes. What the hell is going on? Yes, well, the Norian soldiers haven't wasted any time surrounding us. What? How? What I can't believe they're attacking at a time like this. We're using most of the fort as a makeshift hospital. There's a military target here. Why can't they just leave us alone? Don't worry, milady. I can handle this. I'm always ready. With help? With my help, of course. If you'd like, Lady Sakura, you may remain with the wounded while we resolve this. I'll consider it. Thank you, both of you. Well then, I guess we'll better get a we we'll be getting to know each other in a hurry. Nothing like a life or death situation to cut right through all this small talk, right? Of course. As you command, Lord Vault. As Lady Sakura's lead retainer, it will be my pleasure to take your orders. Yes. And as Lady Sakura's supervising retainer, I too will welcome your leadership. How could that be? Supervising retainer? That's not a thing. <laughs> well, neither is lead retainer. I don't remember you getting a promotion. <laughs> Lady Sakura and I have been best friends since childhood. I've always been her lead retainer. I'm not sure this is the time or place for such a discussion, but I believe my results on battlefield speak for themselves. What? Oh, so is that why you neglect all your non-battle duties? Is that why I'm the one maintaining all our gear and scouting the enemy? Um. Guys, uh, uh, you know, we are getting attacked right outdoors. I think I just saw seven men get impaled by lances and uh, uh, Sakura is actually crying right now because of you. Stop. Hey, look at her. Off you two, you're embarrassing yourselves and me. Well, please don't let this juvenile display deceive you. Hana and Tsubaki are both extremely capable on the battlefield, and they're both going to set aside this petty argument and help I'm you, right? Here for you. Of course, my lady. Yes. Certainly. Expert perfection, and you will not be disappointed. Can always count on you. Excellent. I'm glad to have your support. Here we go. We should get moving and face the intruders head on. We must protect the wounded. Understood. Of course. Doom, doom, doom. All right. So, wow, wow, wow. We have a lot of enemies to deal with. Holy damn. So, let's see who we have here. We have Sakura, 
Volt, Rinka, Kaze, Felicia, Azura, and with the addition of Tsubaki and Hana. So I guess I should probably go over them all and then end the video and then do like the next bit. So first off we have our main man Volt. Uh, he still has supportive, which is a nice lovely skill to have. Um, so I'm again I'm just gonna pretty much get any sorry get any units to talk with Volt and you know it'll be very, very helpful. And then we have uh, Nobility, which, you know, it's always great to have on the main ma uh, main character. On the right we have Sakura, who has quite strength. Allies within two spaces take minus two damage, so that is really nice. She is a very good support. Um, and she has Miracle, because, you know, that's what uh, these healers have. They just <coughs> happen to have Miracle, and my throat is acting up again. God damn it. Ah, sorry. I'll try to speak before I end the video here. Uh, Rinka, our Omni Savage, is our axe user, uh, axe user, and this unit deals 4 plus damage when he or she has less than full health, so that's a pretty good skill if she even, like, levels up. Like, if she levels up 1, boom, she's just, oh, she's just uberly strong. And I can see myself pretty much building on her strength with other skills, maybe like Outdoor Fighter and Quick Draw would be really good uh, to kind of back up her plus four, that will, get, that will immediately just give her so much uh, damage already. And she already comes with seal resistance. Now, this is uh, a dangerous thing. Oh, or actually, no, it's not, sorry, I was thinking of seal magic, so no, you got, it's still nothing to worry about. So she's definitely a really good uh, weakener, or like a, just like a unit to initiate, and then have a, another unit just to finish it off. Uh, we know Kaze already, he has got Miraculous Save, which can save her units by, um, you know, by one, uh, with by one HP dependent on their luck stat of he, the one he's saving, and he's got lockpick, which I will definitely use on this chest on the right here. Uh, uh, we have Felicia, who we already know, devoted partner, and has you know plus two resistance, Demoiselle, and live to serve. So yep, yeah, we know what Felicia does. Uh, we have Sakura, who has healing descendant. All allies within two spaces heal up. We know this, and he gets four plus luck because that's nice of her. And now we have two units to join us here. We have uh, Tsubaki the Sky Knight, which is the, essentially the Pegasus Knight of this of this game. It's known as the Sky Knight. And kind of the first ever male Pegasus Knight, if I remember correctly. He is the first ever male. So this game hosted in uh, back in uh, Nor, the first female fighter. And now we have the first male Pegasus Rider. So he's a perfectionist. So he grants... Uh, he grants 15 hit and avoid when his HP is full, which is pretty damn good actually, that's pretty nice. And he has Darting Blow, which increases his chances of getting a follow-up attack, so he's going to be double attacking a lot, so you expect to see a lot of that. And we have Hana, the Samurai. Her, uh, let's see, her main skill is Fearsome Blow. When this unit initiates an attack that KOs a foe, adjacent enemies lose 20 HP, so... Okay, so she's a good unit to finish off, and if she finishes off a, like a, like first, then all the units lose 20% HP, which is actually a lot, so definitely definitely use that ability. Uh, this, probably maxed with Savage Blow, would would wreck things. That's 40 health gone. That's nearly half, so it's, it's definitely a good short. And she's got Duelist Blow, which is 30 avoid when initiating combat, so yeah, she's definitely a very good finisher. So that's probably why she had lower health. All right. So this video is going on for long enough. I will have everything set up, and I'll show you the complete uh, run through of this uh, mode. So see you.